क्वेश्चन नंबर टू बिलोंगिंग टू एम एस क्यू पार्ट और इट कैन बी क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी टू एज पर योर द टाइप यू ऑप्टेन इन द पेपर सो दिस इज द क्वेश्चन ऑफ पैरिस साइक्लिंग रिएक्शन एंड वील हैव टू चूज द इनकरेक्ट स्टेटमेंट्स प्लीज माइंड इट दैट रीड इट केयरफुली इट इज इन करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट्स एंड नॉट द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट्स इफ यू गो द आंसर्स वी आर गेटिंग हियर इज ए एंड डी इन ऑप्शन ए फोर प्लस टू फोर पाई प्लस टू पाई साइक्लो एडिशन रिएक्शन आर कैरिड आउट इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ लाइट इट इज रॉन्ग इट इज इन करेक्ट बिकॉज फोर प्लस टू पाई साइक्लो एडिशन इज अ डील सेल्डर रिएक्शन एंड इट इज कैरिड आउट इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ हीट देन ऑप्शन डी ट्रांसोइड डाइन्स अंडर गो डील सेल्डर रिएक्शन नॉट ट्रांसोइड बट सिसोइड डाइन्स अंडर गो डील सेल्डर रिएक्शन इफ यू गो फॉर ऑप्शन बी टू प्लस टू पाई साइक्लो एडिशन रिएक्शंस अंडर गो दीज आर फोटोकेमिकली अलाउड रिएक्शन दैट इज ट्रू इट इज अ करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट सिमिलरली ऑप्शन सी फोर प्लस टू पाई साइक्लो एडिशन रिएक्शंस आर थर्मली अलाउड इट इज करेक्ट सो ऑप्शन ए एंड डी आर इन करेक्ट एंड ऑप्शन बी एंड सी आर करेक्ट हेलो एवरी वन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री एम एस क्यू फॉर आई टी जेम एग्जामिनेशन टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू मार्क द इंटेंसिव वेरिएबल्स दैट मीन्स दोज वेरिएबल्स विच डज नॉट डिपेंड अपॉन द अमाउंट ऑफ सब्सटेंस सो स्टार्टिंग विद ए दैट इज टेम्परेचर वी नो दैट टेम्परेचर ऑफ सब्सटेंस इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ इट्स अमाउंट सो इट्स एन इंटेंसिव प्रॉपर्टी coming to b volume we know that the volume of a substance depends upon its quantity the more the quantity is more will be its volume so volume is not an intensive property it's an extensive property coming to pressure pressure is also independent of the amount of substance so pressure is also intensive property and density we know that density is a uh, independent of amount so density will also be an intensive property so out of three, four options a c and d represents the intensive property or contains the intensive uh, variables hello everyone we are going to discuss question number 4 msq from it jam examination 2017 in this question we have to mark the phenomenon which depicts wave nature of an electromagnetic radiation so that's a quite simple problem as we know that photoelectric effect and compton scattering represents the particle nature of electromagnetic radiations and deflection as well as interference depicts the wave nature of electromagnetic radiations so option a and option b will be the correct answer for the question question number 5 of msq or it can be question number 35 also it is based upon shape of different organic com- different compounds it is asking about the c so shape c so shape c so shape is also known as kappa type of shape like letter k so the answer is a and c in a we are having sf4 molecule it has sp3d hybridization it has two substituent groups at axial positions and two are in the equatorial position and the lone pair is occupying the equatorial position so the overall shape of the molecule appears like letter k or it is also known as c so position similarly in option c we are having cl f4 plus it is also having one lone pair and it has four groups attached to it its hybridization is sp3d same and same shape that is c so shape lone pair is occupying the equatorial position so the answer is a and c question number 6 of msq type the answers are a c and d this question is purely based upon biochemistry bio organic chemistry and it is we are getting the natural compounds natural polymers here uh, the option a contains guanine is a purine base nucleobase so that is true we have guanine 
and adenine two types of bases so guanine two types of bases purine and pyrimidine so guanine is a purine type of base then option c dna contains glycosidic bond and pentose sugars that is true it has glycosidic bonds and it has pentose sugars similarly option d sucrose is a non reducing sugar sucrose is a is having acetal type of structure and not hemi acetal type of structure so it is a non reducing sugar option b is glycine and proline are achiral amino acids so glycine is achiral but proline is not achiral so it is incorrect so the correct options are a c and d question number 7 of msq type it is again a pericyclic reaction and it is a, a sigma tropic rearrangement reaction it involves 3 3 sigma tropic rearrangement shifting it is also known as claisen rearrangement so the answers are b c and d which are having the correct statements that it is sigma tropic rearrangement claisen rearrangement and it is and it is pericyclic reaction it is not oxy cope rearrangement so a option is not correct